In the meantime, the Gauteng provincial government says that it will cost between 50 and 60 million rand to repair a massive sinkhole on the R55 road in Lodium, uh, southwest of Pretoria. Premier David Makura, accompanied by Tswane Mayor Solim Simanga, uh, Roads and Transport MEC Ismail Vadi, uh, Tswane Roads and uh, Transport MMC Sheila uh, Senkumgube, uh, visited the area earlier today to assess the situation. Over the weekend, part of the road collapsed. Uh, Makura further announced that uh, law enforcement will be on site for 24 hours to ensure the safety of members of the public. Uh, it's not clear at this stage as to when the road will be fixed and uh, reopened to traffic. Residents and motorists are advised to exercise extreme caution in the area and not to stop to view the sinkhole. This road, R55, is a provincial road uh, fortunately, uh, the areas that are dolomatic across our province are very closely monitored by municipalities and provincial government. If it's roads, uh, the, pro the provincial department of roads and transport monitors those areas very closely, working with their counterpart in municipalities. Uh, and one of the key things about this road is that for the past few, few weeks, our technical teams have been monitoring what is happening with this area almost on a daily basis and therefore responding uh, and, and also alerting members of the public. That's why there was no one who got uh, injured here. They were monitoring that now. The, the sinkhole is developing, uh, the ground is cracking and taking appropriate steps, to, including to warn members of the public. Here we have got two, two households that are affected. The Provincial Department of Roads and Transport is going to uh, fix this road. Uh, it will cost us between 40 and 50 million rands. These are very, very huge um, costs to the city. Um, the team have ensured, uh, have told me that uh, the, 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 the bulk services, at least at the moment, are not um, in any way going to be disrupted. So that is something that we are at least a little bit relieved about. But uh, we have been ensured again, or assured, that uh, the houses themselves will not in any way uh, be in any danger. And should anything uh, begin to develop, we'll then be able to then deal with it. We need to make sure that we have a now proactive um, you know, method of... of, 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 of uh, detecting this uh, sinkholes or the potential of the sinkholes and how we can then proactively start to treat them. We have been talking to the experts who have told us of a technology that is now available in terms of de uh, detecting. But it's going to be an expensive exercise. It's going to be a tedious exercise because now already people have belts. So it's not easy to, 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 to be able to then deal with, uh, with those uh, exercises. But we have to do what we have to do to ensure that we protect not only their lives but the properties of the people that find themselves in this uh, belt, which is is a, a dramatic belt in Centurion.